Hi everyone, I am Melinda Siquera and today we will be talking about the monumental benefits of reading. Research shows that reading is a great way to improve your cognitive ability, relax your body and lower your heart rate and also enhance how happy you are with life. Ave Studios by the Archdiocese of Bangalore in collaboration with ATC Publishers has taken this initiative to encourage reading. Let us welcome Father Cyril Victor to introduce the book of the week. Hi, my dear friends. I'm very happy and honored to introduce and present the book of the week series. In a very special way, the book for this week that we have chosen to present before you is The Forty Sorrows of Jesus. This book is written by Father Shajan Joseph, who is the priest of the Congregation of Mission. And this congregation was founded by St. Vincent de Paul in the year 1625. Let me get into the core of the theme of this book. We are in the Lenten season. The season of Lent is a very beautiful, a special season wherein it gives a wonderful opportunity for a deeper reflection and deeper meditation to know who we are in this time, especially to get ourselves connected with God. That's why we have chosen a very apt book to bring before you is The Forty Sorrows of Jesus. How many of you have heard Forty Sorrows of Jesus? For me, it was like first time when I looked at this book, I was so eager and wanting to know what are these 40 sorrows. You know, the author has uh, tried to see the sorrows of Jesus, not just during the passion, death or the crucifixion of Jesus. He sees the sorrows of Jesus all through his life. Uh, many a time, for us pious Catholics and Christians, it has been taught or we have tried to know that Jesus went through a moment of anguish, deep sorrow. It was during the Holy Week. But in this book, the author beautifully brings out, based on the Gospels, the 40 sorrows of Jesus. Right from the moment of the birth of Jesus till the ascension of Jesus, what were the different sorrows that Jesus went through. You know, when I was reading through this book, it's been written so well uh, that it also has a contemporary reflection, you know, the contemporary thought. So much so, in several places, the author beautifully is uh, bringing the quotations of Pope Francis in connection with each sorrow of Jesus. During his birth, during the flight into Egypt and uh, during the public ministry of Jesus, there were different sorrows that Jesus underwent. What will I get by reading this book? You know, first of all, Lent is a time of prayer, a time for meditation and reflection. And I'm sure when you read this book through, when you enter into the heart of Jesus, the deep anguish, the sorrow, the longing, the agony that Jesus went through is not just during the Holy Week, but all through his life. Here, we can also correspond very beautifully, parallelly, the different sorrows the entire humanity is going through. And each one of us, our families, ourselves going through different sorrows and every reflection or every sorrow is concluding with a beautiful prayer. My dear friends, I don't want to dwell too much on the, uh, the themes of this book, but it's a, a gentle invitation for each one of you to discover this book, The Forty Sorrows of Jesus. Happy reading and a happy season of Lent. God bless.
Thank you, Father Cyril, for that beautiful introduction to the book. For everyone watching, 40 Sorrows of Jesus by Father Shajan Joseph, published by ATC Publishers, is available on our website at www.joyofgifting.com. And to order your copies, you can also email us at support at atcpublishers.com. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you.